going on guys, Quillen Black here and welcome to another video of Q-Tips and on this video I'm going to be interviewing Macy, Mace the Don, as you guys know her on Instagram, also my girlfriend as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask her a few questions that she's also experienced throughout the entire time that she's been trading. Um, and yeah, so tell me a, a, a little bit about yourself first. So, um, yeah, I'm Q's girlfriend. Mace, you can call me Mace if you like. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm a trader. I was a former student studying uh, business marketing and, um, you know, working a part-time job and things like that. And I got into trading um, from Q. I've, I've seen his class and I was really interested in taking it. So um, that's how we met. And um, yeah, and ever since then, I've been trading and living my life, traveling with Q and, and educating people around the world. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. Make a move. <laughs> Yo, major move. <laughs> yeah, um, because like every single city that we actually been to so far, we always had like a meet and greet because there's some people that actually, they, they want to meet me, they want to meet her. So I mean, it's a, it's a power couple thing, you know? So like, that's like the, the, the big benefits on working as a team, but also, you know, inspiring both parties as well. All right? All right, so I have a few questions. Um, nothing crazy, but um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six questions that she's gonna be answering. So let's start off with question number one. All right, what's your goal when it comes to trading? So, uh, with my trading profits, of course, yeah. right? So, with my trading profits, what I plan to and, do... And, and also the time the time freedom that you also have with trading as well. Like, what's... Yeah, sure. What's your thing? Um, you know, you, when you become a trader, you know, you really make your own schedule. And you have an abundance of free time. But you have to be very disciplined and know how to apply that time. You know, time is to the charts and, and everything like that. There's no one over your shoulder saying, you know, you have to clock in this time. So, you do have a lot of free time, but you need to know what you how you need to spread it out like you know you'll seem really busy at times because yeah. you'll be on the charts and people are like oh you're a trader you have so much you know kind of <laughs> kind like, of nah <laughs> nah dog yeah. it's, not, it's not how it works but um my goals with trading is just you know um kind of what i'm doing now um travel with q travel with my family and you know really educate others and inspire others and just live my life of abundance and enjoy um every day you know and not being a slave to the system basically yeah so. yeah because the thing is um, people don't don't really understand like how it feels to live a 24-hour day oh which is because like every single day is uh, every every single day is something <laughs> new like i like even like we don't wake up and have a, a set schedule you know things have to actually be made up we we gotta actually make our own schedule every single day. So, you know, it's kind of hard in a sense as well, but you know, that's what keeps our day busy as shit. Yeah, definitely. You know? People think, think, you know, like once you quit your job and you begin trading, like you're not working, you're working 24 hours. You're working 24 hours a day, <laughs> like, yeah. You know, waking up in the middle of the night, like. Yeah, <laughs> so, you're, uh, yeah, like it's, yeah. you're going from working nine hours a day, you know, to 24 hours a day. But yeah. these 24 hours, you have like, th there's no cap on, on your income. So, so you can make as much as you want to, which is the benefit. Yeah. You know, but also you gotta keep in mind that you have so much free time now, but also you gotta then, you know, put your focus into other avenues so you're not mm -hmm. always on the charts 24 7 because that's when things get kind of boring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a tip right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, w what are the benefits from trading in this era compared to spending all your time at a job? Oh, man. You know, spending time at a job, it just, you know, you're applying all of your energy and, you know, you're really putting your all into something that you'll never own. Yeah. You know, you which, know what I'm which, saying? Which sucks. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. It really does suck. You know, you're building someone else's dream and you're putting yours on the back burner and you know, once they really drain you out of the job, you yeah. know, especially a nine to five or eight to four, whatever you work, they really drain you out. So by the time you're done, you don't want to do anything. You have no time to really apply it to your own goals and your dreams and stuff like that. And they like, and it almost brainwashes you to think that you know, I, I can't have any, I can't achieve any goals or dreams, which really sucks, you know. It's really depressing yeah. that it does that. So, you know, especially in this era, you know, the world is so big and there's so much to see. So, if you can, um, you know, get into like, like an industry or, or, or find like a skill that can free you of a job, then... You know, you you can just really live a life that that you want to. You don't have to be stuck in a house, and so, you know, and really live your life to the fullest. All yeah. everything that you want, you can really achieve, yeah. and and it makes things seem so much achieve, so much more achievable. Yeah. You know, like sometimes when you're working, it seems like oh, no, I I can't get a Ferrari. Yeah. I can't get a Porsche or yeah. whatever or whatever you want. You know, but when you 
like are, are making your own income and you have that skill that really frees you it's like damn like oh that it's right there yeah. you know like i can really you like everything is more dreams. accessible now because exactly you know like yeah. when you're at a job um you know you'll see like a car drive drive by or like if you're not into cars like you'll see a, a person going like a crazy ass trip but mm -hmm. you know in in your head you got to take off freaking um like you a, gotta a, do a week or two obstacles. of vacation yeah. over time Bro. but with this you know all we have to do is pretty much you know up our lot size or just do some extra you know what i'm saying yeah. but it's just it's just things are just a lot different compared to us traders a mindset versus a person that is still at a job and stuck in a job because if you guys ever seen like an episode on tv on like a um series when the the boss of the job is like um i can see you here um you on the manager one day <laughs> we're in this big place right here i see you doing it let me tell you that actually happened to me at my former <laughs> job terrible. i won't say what it was you know, it doesn't matter uh, it doesn't matter okay i used to work at Foot Locker, and you know like um and i had oh i had um great you know co-workers and oh lord ghost yo duppy <laughs> But yeah, so, so um, I used to work at Foot Locker, and I had great, you know, coworkers. They are great friends, especially my manager is very cool. And, you know, they had they seen me in like a um, a really I was a assistant manager, and they see me like a manager position or whatever. And like when I was a cashier, they see me going higher, and I was like, eh. Now you're gonna get there. <laughs> I was like, nah, bruh. I'm Gucci. I'm gonna yeah. just go do this over here yeah, real quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're like, you know, I see you. You could do so good. You're a very smart girl. I'm like, thank you. You know, I'm not. I don't. I, but I don't really see myself doing this for. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. Because, <laughs> um, you know, like, it just sounds good when you're there and want to actually get hired inside a company, which is cool. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's just something that you'll never own. So it's like you're, yeah. you're really building somebody else's dream. Yeah. I didn't dig it because they're gonna. Uh, you're only getting like a portion of whatever you know that company's making which sucks oh yeah you know think it, about it <laughs> you know it does sound sweet when you go from making you know nine dollars an hour to twelve dollars an hour yeah you know yeah. it does sound sweet at the moment but you know there's such a you you just have to have that bigger picture in mind you can't be um so stuck in that mindset to where you know you feel like you have to work for someone to make money you know be, be open to be open to different you know avenues and and yeah yeah Remember, like the the most amount of millionaires was was, was actually made last year, and that had nothing to do mm -hmm. with the job, which is crazy. Zero. So uh, keep that in mind. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, what are some challenges that you've experienced since you started trading? As far as you know, um, you know, like account building or that kind of stuff. Oh man, you know, as a trader, you're gonna face many challenges. Q still goes through his challenges to this day. He's, he's a great trader, so. You know, and as a beginner, you go through a lot. But I feel like the the biggest challenge that I had was, um, and that I feel like everyone has is, they all kind of fa fall under greed. I feel like you know a lot of yeah, all of them kind of fall under greed because, you know, you can make money so fast in trading, so you just wanna, you wanna take advantage of all of it right now. You wanna be I that mean, person that makes a million dollars in one day. Exactly. You wanna be that person. <laughs> yeah. you, but but you have to understand. You know, this is like this is like a. You really have to grind it out. It, it's not a fast process. You really have to, you know, bust your ass every day so you know you can gain that skills to where you can make that million dollars yeah. every day. And it's not gonna happen overnight. It's not gonna happen in a year. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? It, it and it all depends on you at the end of the day. You know. Yeah. So. And like, just get into those yeah. those milestones because remember, like. Yeah, not milestones. You know. I, I, I tell everybody like at one point in time like a hundred dollars a day was a big day to me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Now, like my my biggest week in trading was like my seventy four thousand dollar week, which I had in in February trading XRP USD, more than trading cryptos, and I would have never thought that I was able to actually achieve that in in my entire lifetime. But at the same time, just like knowing my work ethic and my focus on a certain skill set, it was possible. You know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like like. Like you just said, don't try to shoot for that 74K. Shoot shoot for, you know, your $1,000 week yeah. or your $5,000 yeah. weekend. You know, hit those milestones, like yeah. you said. It's not all about just, you know, busting out there because that will make you lose confidence so fast in trading. 100%. Yeah. Because, you you know, you see um, Q making money or, or other traders making a lot of money, but you don't understand the type of work yeah. they put in to get there. And, when, and if you're just a beginner, 
you have year or you know you have a while to go before yeah. you get there yeah you know? because like so. some people look out on my instagram and facebook and everything and see you know all these numbers and whatnot but they don't realize like yo like i've been doing this for years and years and years and years and years day, and years and years day, um day in and, and um, day out exactly like June, so. i used to study back to back every single hour of the day i get home from work I'm on the charts again. I'm at work. I'm still on the charts. You know, like, we're still making it happen in some kind of way, but it kind of shows you that, like, it took a lot of fucking hard work. So, like, don't ever, ever try to compare yourself to anybody else that's been inside the industry for a good amount of time because you're putting yourself back in some sense. You know, and so, like, just always try to go at your own pace. And right? even if, you know, you and another person have been trading for the same amount of time and, and whatever, you know, never compare yourself to, to another trader yeah. because that that can lower your confidence yeah. big time and confidence is a big portion of trading yeah confidence and um the, the, the passion for it because yeah passion, you, you and one person can be um studying for the same amount of time same amount of time on the charts and everything else but at the same time you know one person might just have a better understanding of the craft than you you know mm -hmm. one person like, like me like i've always been good at patterns so like with this right here like it kind of just came a bit more natural in a sense as well because i've always been I've been used to like more an analytical type, type stuff compared to the other person that has never even been into nothing like this yeah. but they're studying the same amount of time as me it's not going to really be the, the um, same you know r results at the end of the day because we have a different you know like a background at the end of the day you know so like don't ever really compare yourself to a per to a person period because the passions are different you know what I'm saying yeah, the interests are different, different. Yeah. all right yeah definitely and and I just want to leave it off with um with this, you know, don't don't fo don't focus on how much you're gonna make this month. Focus on how much like how much you're gonna make in five years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in five years, we'll see who is really grinding, who is exactly. really working. You know, and and not not in a month. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. If if you if you're like negative one month or positive one month, you know, don't worry about that because you know in that you know in a couple years, you know, if you've been on it back to back, it's show. Yeah, yeah. It'll show who's been working and yeah. who hasn't. So. And the biggest thing also like don't don't really get caught up in the whole the whole social media thing like like right uh, now yeah. i tell everybody because yeah. what happens now is not going to really matter in five or, or ten years personally you know what i'm saying so like how you're grinding it out and how you're actually going about your trading journey just always keep in mind think long term at the end of the day mm -hmm. all right because things that happen now are not gonna be relevant in five or ten years yeah all right so just grind it out focus on yourself all right nobody else focus yeah. on yourself because if you focus on, on somebody time. else in this industry right here then you're going to be set back or you know the, the learning curve is not going to be as short as you want it to be yeah all right all right um what are your views as a female trader um as a female trader you know a lot of women ask me you know is it hard to be a female trader this is and that I'm gonna be honest, you know, whether you're a male or a female, it doesn't matter, you know, trading is not easy. It's not easy for, for Q, it wasn't easy for me. So, you know, like, like it doesn't say, okay, you're, you're a girl, I'm gonna make it hard on you. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't work like that, yeah. so. But, you know, as a female trader, you really have to get used to um, communicating and, and, with, and seeing men a lot. Because there's a lot of men in this niche, like, and they outweigh the, outweigh the girls by far. big time, by, by far. far. You know, so... So when people do see a female trader, you know, I will, sometimes, you know, they kind of, they'll count you out at times, but that's when you really just have to, you know, be a savage and, you know, show them what, what you're about. You know, just because you're a female doesn't mean you're any less of a good trader than anyone else. So, 100%. you know, just just be that savage that you are and, you know, just do, don't let guys... Do you feel like they're, um, like, females are intimidated? Oh, big time. I was, I was just about to say, like, don't don't let that guy, um, the male-dominated um, industry intimidate you because you, you know when most people think about a trader you know they think about a guy suit whatever whatever yeah. you know but but don't let them intimidate you you're just females are just as smart as men you know so yeah and in because the first um the first few like handful of good traders that i knew personally like one of them was a female you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying actually two of them was a female and um then people that join now like they would never ever think that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. th they always yeah. thought that, like, people that you've been seeing inside the industry was all guys, but, like, mm -hmm. the first, like, couple good traders that I knew, like, you know, two were females and, and the rest was guys. Yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> I, they're, like, um, some amazing traders that I look up to now are females. Like, yeah. man, they're beasts. Like, like, they're just, 
yeah. killing it, you know. And they've been around for a good amount of time, yeah. and they've been through everything that we've been through. Everything, you know, it's but, the same shit. But you know what? You know, I, I feel like you know, as females, um, as women, don't don't get, don't um, how should I say it? Like, don't get intimidated by by if something confuses you. I feel like you know, with a lot of women, if something confuses you, we take a step back. You mm-hmm. know, and men will will push forward. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? All right, this com- you would say, all right, this confuses me. All right, whatever. Next, on to the next thing. Women, if they don't understand everything, they'll take a step back. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you if you don't, you're not gonna understand everything, and that's just that. Everything comes with experience, chart time, and just time period. Chart time period. Chart time is a huge thing. Yeah. Huge, huge, huge thing. So you know, if you haven't put in any chart time, you can't expect to to know everything. Yeah. So you know, don't let things that confuse you set you back. So yeah. Okay. All right. Um. How do you go about losses? Mm, how do I go about losses? Um, it's just to know, you know, and and it's, and it's just that. Like I, I used to. It's hard to separate that emotion from from trading. But once you do, it's just that's when you that's when you become a savage, yeah. honestly. Because once I take an L, I'll really just go back to the chart, see where I messed up. I don't really dwell on it too much because you know you're gonna take an you're gonna take um. L's and you're gonna win some time. You know, same way, same way, same way that you lost money, you could have made money in the market, which is what Q always says. And I think about that all the time. Same way I lost this, I could have made it. So it it was just all about I analyzed wrong. I never blame it on the market because the Mark, market's it's just showing you data. Yeah, it's, it's gonna show, do what yeah. it, what it does anyway. You know, I, I'm not gonna say or or it has to respect whatever I draw on a chart because I drew it. The market never drew or anything. It's just showing you data. And yeah, it, so when I take a loss, I'll, I'll just reflect on what I analyzed, what I could have did differently, and you know, where I could have um, exited before I took the loss. So, okay. you know, definitely that. And take a nap, too. Uh, you know, take a nap. <laughs> that's so. a big time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, last question. All right, $5,000 on shoes and handbags or $5,000 in a broker's account? And why? Oh, broker's account all day. Why? Yo, is that a question? Like, <laughs> all right, shoes and handbags versus five thousand dollars in a broker account. <sighs> you can make more money what? on that broker's account. Q <laughs> took a thousand dollars and turned it into seventy-four thousand dollars. So, I don't think a Gucci handbag or can make you money. Nah, <laughs> nah, it's definitely not. You know what I'm saying? So. But you can you can make so much more money with that five thousand dollars and buy as many Gucci handbags as you like, That's you know, true. or whatever yeah. you want to buy, whatever. Instead of just the five thousand dollars, you gotta work smarter. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like make your money work for you, and and don't be just a slave to the system. Like and and the name brand. Yeah. You know, we like our nice things. Yeah. Of course, you, you, Q definitely likes his nice things, but he works hard for it, and and he works smarter. You know, not harder. So. Yeah. Like. The fi- like that Gucci handbag or those shoes, those Louis Vuitton shoes and nothing, it's not, it's not gonna, you know, make you money every time you take a step. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. It's a big they, difference. Yeah, you know, uh, unless someone's paying you to wear it, then. That's true you too. You know, shit, yeah. But it's always about just the investing portion of it is, is, mm-hmm. is huge, it's very, very important. Yeah. And you can definitely, like, maximize your money with whatever capital that you currently have. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. Just always try to invest, 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 invest to make more money from the money that you've already made. Made, yeah. All right? Yeah, and if you guys haven't seen um, Q's video about uh, withdrawing into BTC, that was a great video. You know, really watching the BTC charts when you're withdrawing, so you know, you can make your money work for you. Just that extra mile. Yeah. That was that was a, that was a great tip on how to, you know, make your money work for yeah. you. So, Maximize yeah, Maximizing your, your Forex withdrawals. Yeah. All right, but thank you guys for watching this video with me and Macy. Um, look forward to another video soon. All right, and um, make sure you guys follow her on, on Instagram. Which is yeah, it's at M A C E T H A D O N Mace the Dawn. So, All right. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you, Q, for having me. Definitely. So yeah. All right, <laughs> and make sure you guys follow me on Instagram also at Q Banks C U E B A N K S, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. Peace. Peace.